So maybe you already have a DSLR, but now you want to upgrade, but no idea where to start. Well, that's what happened with Gauti Ericsson. Hope I pronounced that right. He asks, I have the Canon T5i and I want to replace it. Uh, should I wait for the 7D Mark III or the 90D, or should I just get the 80D? I mainly shoot stills, not so much video. Let's discuss. So when it comes to upgrading your camera, particularly if you have a, a lower end camera, there's going to be a lot of options available for you. So the important thing to do is work out what it is about your current camera that you're not happy with and then seek the improvement in a new camera there. So for example, I asked Gauti, what was he using the camera to take pictures of and what about the T5i is he not happy with? His response was, I mainly shoot landscapes and my children, I hope that's with the camera, uh, I want better low light and ISO performance and a better focus system. And then he goes on to list the lenses that he has and also links to his portfolio as well. So I had a quick look through his portfolio and the first thing I noticed was that he works as a tour guide in Iceland. So I am insanely jealous of you, sir, because Iceland is the one place that I want to go to most in the world. But back to the topic at hand. So of the three cameras that you've suggested, the 7D Mark III, the 90D and the 80D, straight away I would say forget about the 7D series. It's going to be a sports focused camera anyway, with a lot of feature sets that you aren't going to need. You know, 10 to 12 frames a second is not needed for shooting landscape. So I would say don't bother wasting all that extra money on a camera like that, because you're just not going to make the most out of it. The 90D could be a possibility, except right now it's nothing but speculation. Nobody knows what we're going to see from it or even when. It could be later on this year, it could be next year. Nobody really knows. So I would say if you're looking for an upgrade sooner rather than later, then the 90D is not going to be a feasible option for you, which leaves you with the 80D. Now the 80D is certainly a great camera. It's got really good autofocus and a much better dynamic range than you've currently got from your T5i. So it would certainly be a worthwhile upgrade for you. However, and this is the moral of the video, the ATD does have all the features that you are looking for in a camera. However, it's also got a lot of extra features that you're not gonna have any real use for. So you're just paying extra money for features that are irrelevant. So what I would actually recommend you consider is something more like the 800D or the 77D. Reason being the key priorities that you've highlighted are better dynamic range and a better autofocus system. Now the 80D certainly has both of those, but the 77D and 800D use exactly the same sensor and autofocus system as the 80D. So in terms of taking landscape photos, you're gonna get pretty much the same results from either of these cameras as you would with this one. However, these cameras are not only both smaller and lighter, so if you're traveling around, they're gonna be easier to carry around with you, but they're also cheaper as well. Now there are some features the 80D has that these don't. It'll shoot seven frames a second as opposed to six, but your T5i only shoots five frames a second, so these are still an improvement. The ATD is weather sealed, so if you're going out and about, it's a more rugged body. However, all of the lenses that you've listed, none of them are weather sealed anyway. So the weather sealing on that body basically becomes irrelevant. Now the viewfinder coverage of the ATD is fractionally better than the other two, but not really a worthwhile upgrade for most people, particularly if you're shooting landscapes, because most of your photos are probably taken using the screen anyway. And then the ATD has a couple of other features such as a headphone jack, but you've already said you don't shoot video. So the ATD is a good camera and is certainly an improvement over what you're currently using. However, for the feature set that you're looking for, you are gonna find the same improvements that are important to you in lower end cameras. So Gauti, my recommendation for you is save that extra bit of money, buy yourself a 77 or an 800D, and then use that extra money for something else further down the line. And this really goes for anybody else out there. If you want to upgrade your camera, that's perfectly fine. But work out what it is about the camera specifically you're not happy with, and then look at what options are available. So is it just an improvement in image quality? Then you don't need to worry about a fast autofocus or a fast shooting speed. Look for a camera that just solely has a good sensor. Or are you happy with the pictures that you're getting, but the camera's just not working fast enough for you? Then you could look towards a camera that has a better autofocus and a better shooting speed, but not have to worry about getting the newest model with the best sensor available. But bearing in mind the lenses that you're carrying might also be a factor as well. So in Gauti's case, it is clearly that he just wants improvements from the camera. 
but maybe if the only thing you're after is a faster autofocus and you're still using the budget cheap lenses, maybe you need to look at changing the lens rather than the camera. So if you've got any questions or you want my advice on anything, leave your comment down below and I'll try and get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated and hopefully I will see you in the next video.